So I thought we'd just have a quick chat on flowering times for your anemones and ranunculus. Let's start with our ranunculus first. Now, if you sow them in the autumn and then you grow them completely under cover, so either in a polytunnel or in pots in your greenhouse throughout the whole of the winter, they will flower for you first. So ranunculus will flower from early to mid April, depending on the weather and your local conditions. I have seen buds as early as late March if we've had a very warm spring. We are properly getting some ranunculus now. So I'm going to be dragging you in here on a daily basis to ooh and ah at the latest to flower. These are the champagne. Just so beautiful. I am so, so happy that we managed to share these corms with you. So if you're going to be planting your corms that we sowed together in February, today this is what you've got to look forward to this is the rose and just look at the stems absolutely magnificent perfect for the container garden these are butterfly ranunculus the flowers are singles but you get a cluster of blooms on a single stem which you can pick and put in your bouquets and arrangements. Or just admire, like I am, in your garden. And then for anemones completely grown under cover, I have had flowers as early as mid-February. I've had a bunch of flowers on my table for Valentine's Day. Look at him. He's gorgeous wow i'll tell you what i will do i will just quickly deadhead so if you've got any that are going over do deadhead them to keep the blooms coming now for ranunculus that are started in the autumn again and then grown under cover until around january february time then transition to the garden with protection during cold spells i find that they flower at least two or three weeks later than the polyton of the cooler temperatures which are outside keep the plants a little bit behind and the stems won't be nearly as tall but the flowers will be a bit bigger because they've had a chance to develop and grow a bit more slowly so about two to three weeks later for your outdoor planted but again we are going to have to protect them it is easter weekend it's actually easter sunday i've come out while it's peaceful take some photos of the rhinoculus. Now these were started in the autumn and they've grown a lot more slowly than the polytunnel. You can see though they are so much more sturdy because it's cooler. Now the lids, if I tip up my phone you can see the lids are still in place. We've raised them. That protects the flowers from the cold but it also helps diffuse the sunlight because if you remember rightly, this weekend we had a little mini heat wave. So the lids have been doing double duty. The same for the anemones, about two or three weeks later, depending on the weather for the corms that are then transitioned and planted outside in the garden. started corms they will flower a whole month later than your crop that you've grown completely under cover and there's about two or three weeks in it between the corms that are started in the autumn and planted in the garden and the late winter corms that started and planted in the garden For me, corn started in the autumn and planted completely under cover are going to flower in April for me. 
If I need them any later, then I'll plant a crop out in the garden and they will flower probably around the beginning of May, very late April, beginning of May, depending on the weather. And if I need them to flower later than that, then I'll need a late winter started crop. And I've had them, it depends so much on the spring that we get. I've had them flower all the way into early July where it's been chilly. And then where it's been really, really warm, then June, is about the latest I've been able to have them. But don't worry about it too much because you can make your decisions later. We're gonna start our autumn started corms undercover in our cell trays. And then because it's a grow along and because we're doing it together in real time, we can have a look out the window, see what the weather's doing and then make our decisions based on the conditions. These are my renunculus pots. You can see they're outside and they can stay outside now. Just check your local conditions and providing you don't have a frost, we need to bring them back in if the weather changes, but providing there is no frost, they can stay out overnight. This is my patio pot of three ranunculus corms. They've now been flowering for almost a month and you'll see that I haven't bothered to deadhead the pot at all. I've just let it do its own thing with the oldest flowers just getting fluffier and fluffier and fluffier. Let's keep this really simple. If you need some flowers in March, they're going to have to be anemones and they're going to have to be grown under cover, either in pots or in a polytunnel. If you need flowers in April, they can be anemones or definitely lots of ranunculus and they're going to need to be grown under cover in your polytunnel or in pots. If you need flowers in May, they're going to need to be autumn started and then planted in pots or the garden with covers to slow the growth down. Anemones and ranunculus start shutting down when the temperatures in the soil hit 20 degrees. So that's the reason why the polytunnel ones go over faster than the field grown varieties. Right, I'm going to cut a few stems and put them in some water because they will last a lot longer in the cool shed than they will in the polytunnel. I've got loads of buds. Look how long those stems are. Flowers in June, then you're gonna need to sow them late winter and plant them either in pots to put outside when the temperatures rise or in trays to plant out in the garden, but you will need to have a layer of horticultural fleece handy on the odd occasion that we might get a late frost. I've been lucky enough to have ranunculus into the beginning of July, but only when we've had a cold spring and you cannot start them any later than late winter because they're cool weather flowers. As I said before, once the soil temperature hits 20 degrees, they will start to shut down. And that will be really annoying if they start to shut down before they've even had a chance to bloom. The tunnel is starting to look a little tired, but out here in the garden where it's much, much cooler, the ranunculus are only now just getting started. Look at them. It's a sea of buds. The anemones and ranunculus, although they're both corms and they're both started at the same time, they are different plants. So the ranunculus will come up relatively quickly, very satisfyingly quickly, where the anemones will take a bit longer. I've got some in the greenhouse which I'll show you in a moment that I have tested so I can tell you exactly how long the anemones take to come up. If you find that your anemones are not coming up in the greenhouse it could be that you're watching the videos a bit later and it's a bit cold in the greenhouse so in that case if you don't see any movement after a couple of weeks bring them into the house until they pop up and then take them back down to the greenhouse. Just be really careful if they haven't started shooting yet that you don't overwater them. So I've got a tray here. This is the three week mark. So these are the anemones. These are the blue and white. Some corns have come up much faster than others, but they have all germinated now. We have 100% germination on these fresh corns. This side is the pastel. And again, some have taken longer than others. But let's just give you an idea of what to expect at the three week mark. I'm going to be doing a lot more videos as we go through the season together. Rather than overload you with information now, I'm going to feed you the information as you need it 
and at the same time as we can look out the window and check the local weather conditions. I'll put it all on my website and by the time we get to the end of the season, all the videos will be there and you'll have the complete picture. If you'd like everything written down for you, then there are the handbooks. So this is the new 2023 an enemy Rhinoculus and new Butterfly Rhinoculus full edition. As well as having all of your comprehensive advice for the individual corms, you also have this checklist included in the full edition, which has got your flowering times all written down in one place for you.